so guys just because many are asking for a tour of our home i just decided to do a brief one i already did a longer home tour i'll link it up so we have two gates at home this is the first gate i'll show you the second one later but this one is locked most of the time because we don't use it quite often just when we have visitors and we need some easy traffic flow then we open it on the left from the gate is my brother simba simba is a house that every boy child constructs within their home and this is my brother's and then straight ahead is the main house that's my parents house and right in front of the house i placed this bird feeder here then when i'm seated right there at the porch then i can view the birds of course as they eat from here then this is the tank in which we harvest rain water it is just enough for us there are not so many of us so when it is full we never really run out of water unless we have a very prolonged drought simba. so this is simba our dog come on he's a watchdog not really a pet so the closest he gets to the house is at the porch on the far right is the kitchen garden so this is where we grow all the vegetables we eat at home right now the garden is not quite beautiful it's been really dry lately it really looks lush when it rains and uh, this is more of the garden we also have lots of bananas here and uh, fruits all over the compound at different spots at the corner of the garden we have our compost so it is very easy for us to remove the compost from here right into the garden somewhere near the fence right next to my brother's house is the cow shed so our cows graze in the compound but at night they spend in the shed this structure here many of you have been asking they think it's a pit latrine but let me just open and show you what's inside so this is the powerhouse where all the meters to the different houses in the compound are and this is the cloth line where usually hang the clothes to dry and this here is the area of the back of the house and very far over there is the pit latrine which is a must in every home in the village not everyone is comfortable here using the toilets inside the house so these are our cows they graze in the fields that we have just within the home we have three acres of land so it's free space right under this mango tree is where we have the car park we keep it covered because of the leaves and flowers falling then we have so many wide fields in the compound that have uh, lots of uh, trees and flowers so we have a variety of uh, trees and flowers here and this is where our children play a lot when they come here for the holidays they play hide and seek because there are so many shrubs to hide at the same time they enjoy the beautiful flowers they love playing with flowers and smelling them they just have a beautiful time in the little gardens around the yard in the rain season when all trees and flowers are blooming this place really looks colorful with all sorts of flowers and all colors of flowers and it's usually so beautiful to just look at it or play in it or just have some rest inside here so next is the right side of the house that leads to the backyard where we normally rest this is the other dog gym and just next to the house is the barn which also doubles as a chicken coop there's the other side that is the chicken coop and then the other side is the store where we keep all the things today the key the hens are locked up because they've been damaging some crops 
we'll open them later when the crops have grown a bit so behind the barn is uh, our orchard i don't know why we just put uh, mangoes in the orchard but there are different types of mangoes apple mangoes embedodo all those sorts of mangoes they are all in one place but the other fruits are distributed in different parts of the compound i think we're not taking care of them well they don't fruit very well so here is the toilet the pit latrine which is a must in every village home and this is the old chicken coop but a predator came and ate all the chicken here so we stopped keeping the chicken here and moved them closer to the house this rack over here is where we keep wood until they dry then we move them to the barn where they are kept dry until use so those are building materials my second brother is supposed to building a simba very soon so he's been bringing his materials and there is the main gate that we use to access the home every day the open spaces in the compound are uh, used to graze the cows and also for the kids to play and it's just open space where you can relax and play and they're also very therapeutic to the eyes the hibiscus are blooming. I think it's just their season. All of them look quite lush. So you'll realize we have lots, lots of open fields. So these are where the cows graze. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.